Good morning, guys. We need to check on these chickens because our mystery chicken that we got from McMurray Hatchery with our 30 meat birds, we've been trying to, whoa, we've been trying to introduce her to our rest of our flock. She'll definitely go through this netting. Chicken run area was getting pretty soggy, so we ended up getting some more wood chips. All right, guys. <laughs> I call it for reinforcements. Last year, I shoveled a lot of wood chips by hand. My neighbor, he's the same one that helped us with pulling our pigs out. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> no problem, man. No problem. That was easy. Well, when you have a four-wheel drive tractor, <laughs> that, that always helps a little bit. Well, he offered to help with the wood chips. Now that we're doing a stationary coop, in order to keep it sanitary, you need to bring wood chips in. And that'll keep from getting all muddy and it'll just be a lot cleaner for the chickens plus it gives them something to do and then over time with the poop and the wood chips we are creating compost at the same time all right guys i need to get me one of these tractors i'm convinced it's a must guys just go down the phone book call every landscape person and ask them do you deliver free wood chips Someone will tell you yes. Right here is fine. And since we're moving wood chips, might as well do wood chips in our pig shelter here. We need more wood chips in here if we're gonna get some more pigs, and we're gonna use these wood chips up. All right, if I was to redo this, I would somehow widen this up so that way he could bring uh, his loader up in here and dump. Or that way, or if I had a loader, I would do that. Really thankful for all these wood chips. Bernice. Good morning, Bernice. Fuzzy muggins. Where is our chicken? There she is. Come on, little white dove. She seems to be doing better. Before they were just really just attacking her and she'd like fly out through the nesting or the netting holes. But let's put her back in here. But I think the combination of me using this area and then at night put her in there with them kind of gets her gets them used to each other. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm coming. I'll let you guys out today. These guys right here, these might be the biggest chickens we'll ever raise, that we have ever raised. They already look big. I've been feeding them twice as much feed than usual. I see them waddling around, and we still have about two weeks left. Typically our meat birds weigh around three to four pounds average. I know that's pretty small. I mean, honestly, we're pretty happy with it. We're a small family. I guess I just wanted to see if I could produce a bigger bird if I fed them more. I'm finding it more easier to fill up just a regular water bucket and then dipping it and then pouring it into here rather than taking that off the chain. This is a good start. Not enough wood chips still, but look at this. So nice to have that tractor, man. That's a goal, that's a goal, a tractor. I'm pretty much done digging out all these wood chips. 
I think we're pretty good in here. I'll probably spread this out a little bit more and then bring in a fresh load of chips. I don't think I'm gonna put as much chips as, as I did last time. I think that was a little bit too much, but you know, and this is just getting ready for pigs. All right, let's check on our plant starts. Guys, look at this. They grew pretty quick. This is a, from our fall gardens. Plus we direct seeded some seeds out there also. And then we have tomatoes growing. Look at all these plant starts. Our friends Justin and Rebecca had some extra plant starts. So we went over there and picked them up. And now we need to plant them though. You gonna plant them right here? Yeah, I'm gonna plant them in this row because this is our covered row and those are the things that we like to cover. You gotta pick these weeds first. We're overdue on picking tomatoes. Looks like I'm picking tomatoes right now. This tomato plant in the greenhouse was a volunteer. We didn't even plant this tomato plant and it's our best producing tomato plant. All right guys, I got some goodies. We got some Swiss chard right here, whole row of it. And then some kale and collards. We're gonna go ahead and keep this Swiss chard. It's still looking really good. And this is a spinach right here. This is gonna be our fall food and then also go into the winter time. We gotta trim up this kale. Chickens are gonna have a real treat. That's why I love growing kale is because you trim it and it'll keep on going, growing like a tree. I'm just clipping off all the kind of dead wormy pieces and you can tell that the, the greener pieces, this is a lot younger and greener, that's what you want here. And then all the darker green stuff I'm taking out. Time to grind some flour, guys. This is some einkorn flour. What are you gonna make with this flour? Probably some tortillas. Ooh, tortillas. All right, better get grinding. <laughs> oh, Penelope, what are you doing? Uh, I just wanted to dress up. Yeah? Yeah. All right, let's see, what do we make? French toast. French toast with our blueberries. We had we canned eight jars last night, and then this is what did fit into those jars. So we had it for breakfast. All right, just poured my cup of coffee. Lorraine and Penelope are about to do school now. All right, Penelope. What? I'm dropping you off at school. All right. Have fun. All right. <laughs> so I'm back in the shop today. I have a custom order that I need to make, a custom art piece. And I need to cut wood outside because I have a small shop. So I need to cut all my wood on the table saw outside and I need to do that before it starts raining again. <laughs> Your days are feeling just the same For a long time you've been off your game Don't care to play young cat to keep us cold